Thank you, Madam President. Madam President, the Senate is about to vote on the nomination of Robert Anderson to serve as solicitor of the Department of Interior. And I'm here to tell you, Madam President, that I oppose this nomination. Uh, if confirmed, Mr. Anderson will serve as the department's chief attorney and also as the principal legal advisor to the Secretary of Interior, Secretary Holland. He would oversee more than 430 attorneys and a staff within six legal divisions. He'd be responsible for ensuring the business conducted at the Interior Department follows the law and is done transparently. He'd be granted tremendous powers to shape how the department fulfills its mission by issuing final legal interpretations on all matters with jurisdiction of the department. These decisions directly impact homes and businesses in Wyoming and throughout the nation. These decisions can make or break our nation's ability to protect our environment, to use and enjoy our natural resources, to create good paying jobs, and to pay for services such as public education. Over the course of his career, Mr. Anderson has both taught and practiced law, primarily focused on tribal issues. Now, I'm concerned that Mr. Anderson lacks sufficient legal experience beyond the tribal law to effectively navigate the complex web of, ed of issues governing the multiple use of public lands and federal lands. It's a uh, I'm very concerned about Mr. Anderson's actions, specifically actions he has taken as the principal deputy solicitor since January 20th of this year. He has revoked many solicitors' opinions issued under the Trump administration. His work has paved the way for the Biden administration's punishing policies that are in direct conflict with the Department of Interior's multiple use mandate. Mr. Anderson's responses to questioning by Senator Cassidy during his nomination hearing were particularly concerning to me. Senator Cassidy asked whether the nominee agreed that the requirement to, quote, maintain, maintain oil and gas leasing programs meant to lease some more, not just maintain the leases that were already leased, but continue leasing. Mr. Anderson responded that he thought it was an open question. Madam President, to suggest that the secretary is no longer required to plan for and hold new offshore oil and gas leases, it simply and unfortunately, but truly ignores the law of the land. Let me be clear, the Secretary of Interior is required to comply with the law, like everyone else. Mr. Anderson's willingness to put the Biden administration's war on American energy ahead of following established law, in my opinion, disqualifies him from serving as solicitor. I will vote against Mr. Anderson's nomination, and I will urge other senators to do so. Thank you, Madam President. I yield the floor.